Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem based on nucleophilic substitution reactions. So here the question that has been given to us is to identify the compound that will be more reactive towards SN1 or SN2 reaction. Let us try to solve this question. So in the first set of compounds, you have two alkyl halides and one you have an alkyl iodide and second compound is an alkyl chloride and as we can see, both the alkyl halides are primary in nature. Now, we know that the reactivity of alkyl halides towards SN1 or SN2 reaction depends on the ability or how good a leaving group is. That is how easily the halogen can leave the alkyl halide so that the nucleophile can attack and result in the substitution product. Now, you can see that the order of leaving group is given here as I minus greater than Br minus greater than Cl minus greater than F minus. Now, you can easily understand this order because we know that the Ci bond strength is very weak because the large difference in the atomic cells between carbon and iodine such that the bond strength is very low. Now it's very easy for an incoming nucleophile to attack this halide so that I minus leaves. For the same reason, now based on this order we can easily see that the structure A or the compound A will be much more reactive towards SN2 reaction as compared to compound B because iodine is a much better leaving group as compared to chlorine. Another important thing to note here is that since both the alkyl halides are primary, they will prefer to undergo SN2 reaction and not SN1 reaction. Let us now try to solve the second set of compounds. So if we see the structure of the compounds given in set 2, these are the given structures here. So if you look at them closely, we can see that structure A is nothing but a primary alkyl halide. Structure B and C are nothing but secondary alkyl halides and structure C, D is nothing but tertiary alkyl halide. Why? Because here the carbon bearing the halogen group is nothing but attached to three carbon atoms. One is a methyl group and two carbon atoms each from the phenyl groups and these are nothing but secondary alkyl halides. Now we also know that the reactivity of alkyl halides towards SN2 reaction is in the order primary greater than secondary greater than tertiary. So here we have a primary alkyl halide, these two are nothing but secondary alkyl halides and this is nothing but a tertiary alkyl halide. Now there could be a confusion as to since these two are secondary alkyl halides, which of them will be more reactive towards SN2 reaction. We know that SN2 reaction is highly susceptible towards steric inhibition and therefore that compound will be more reactive towards SN2 reaction which is less sterically hindered. So let's try to evaluate the situation here. You can see that in compound B is very much sterically hindered because you have two big phenyl groups here, this and this. However, if you look at compound C, it has only one phenyl group and one methyl group such that this compound is much less sterically hindered as compared to compound B. For the same reason, C will be much more reactive towards SN2 reaction as compared to B. Therefore, the final order of reactivity of the given alkyl halides towards SN2 reaction will be a greater than C greater than B greater than D. Now what will be the order of reactivity of the given alkyl halides towards SN1 reaction? For that we need to know that the SN1 reaction is basically based on the stability of the carbocation that is being formed. Therefore, the compound that generates a more stable carbocation will be most reactive and the one that generates least stable carbocation will be least reactive towards SN1 reaction. So we know that based on that, the order of reactivity of alkyl halides is tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary because tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary which is more stable than primary. So obviously D will be the most stable and A will be the least stable because this is a tertiary alkyl halide which will give a tertiary carbocation and this is a primary alkyl halide which will give you a primary carbocation. Now which among them will be more reactive towards SN1 reaction because both of them are secondary in nature. Now that compound will be more reactive towards SN1 reaction which will have a more stable carbocation. So if you look at the carbocation that is being formed here, we can see that it is highly stable because it is stabilized by resonance via two phenyl rings here. However, in structure C, the carbocation is stabilized by resonance only by one phenyl ring. Therefore, since B has a more stable uh, carbocation as compared to C, B will be much more reactive towards SN1 reaction as compared to C. Therefore, the final order of reactivity of alkyl halides towards SN1 reaction will be D greater than B greater than C greater than A as has been mentioned here. 
I hope you are very clear on what are the fundamental differences between SN1 and SN2 reaction and how to identify structures or how to identify compounds which will be more reactive towards either of this. Thank you.